Hi, in this video, uh, this is Series in Parallel Part 4, and here we're going to be solving for current in a circuit that's a little more complicated. So in the previous example, we had a circuit where you only had uh, two resistors in parallel, and we didn't add this resistor appearance series. So it changes things a little bit, but again, we want to solve for the total resistance, uh, the total current, which would be this one, and you want to solve for the current in this branch, in the first branch, and the current in the second branch. So let's go ahead and get started here. So uh, there's lots of ways to solve this. I'm just going to go about uh, condensing the, the circuit down first, and then I'll solve for everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the I'm going to find out what the total resistance is. So in order to do that, I need to combine this part of the circuit down. Uh, and so let's do that. So we have R2 and R, no, R2 and R3, that's right. So we we can use a couple ways to solve for this. I'm going to use this particular method since they're in, in, uh, in parallel, but they're not the same resistance value. So we're going to say the resistance in parallel is equal to R2 times R3 divided by R2 plus R3. And you could always use this when they're in parallel, when you have two in parallel. Uh, so R2 is 400 times R3, which is 200, divided by 400 plus 200. So you're going to get uh, 80,000 divided by 600. And that's going to give you 133.3 ohms <coughs> oh, excuse me that's a total resistance so now I'm going to rewrite the circuit so you're going to have the the power supply doesn't change you're still going to have this resistor R1 which is equal to 100 ohms and then you're going to have the second resistor which is the one that was in parallel and that's res res resistance in parallel and that's going to be equal to 133.3 ohms this is a 120 volt power supply. So, okay, now that we got that, now we can solve for the total current that's going through here. That was I1. So, the current, or the total current, is equal to the total voltage divided by the total resistance. And that's going to be equal to 120 divided by, well, the total resistance, RT, is equal to 100, which is R1, plus the resistance in parallel which is equal to 133.3 ohms which is equal to 233.3 ohms so this is 233.3 ohms and if you put that in your calculator you're going to get 5.514 well, amps and that would be the total current in the circuit so now with this now we can pop this into the resistance in parallel in order to get the voltage on uh, since we know what the total current is going into here, we can just say, okay, that's that's the total current going into here. Now I could solve for what the voltage is on this, on on these two guys. Since it's in parallel, it'll they all both have the same uh, voltage. So the voltage on resistor one is equal to the total current I one times the resistor one, and that's equal to 0.514 amps times a hundred ohms so you're gonna get a total of 51.4 volts on that guy now let's get the voltage on the second one so the, vo the voltage on resistor 2 that's equal to the total voltage minus the voltage on resistor 1 uh, and you could do that instead of having to solve for it uh, or you could actually solve for it you could actually say or the total current uh, times the resistance in parallel. So you could do either one of these two methods. So if you did it this way, you would say 120 minus 51.4, which is equal to 68.57, uh, about. And that's equal to the voltage on resistor 2. Or if you wanted to do it this way, you would say 0.514 uh, <coughs> amps times 133.3 uh, ohms which will also give you 68.53 uh, 
volts. So they're approximately the same. I mean, uh, rounding wise, it's just the rounding part that's kind of throwing you off. It'll throw off the answer a little bit, but not much. So now we have I2. So now the current in branch two, so you're gonna, that's gonna be equal to the voltage in resistor two divided by the resistance in resistor two. So that's gonna be equal to 68.57 volts divided by 400 ohms. And that's just this part right here. Because we're getting the, the, <coughs> the voltage across this guy so we can uh, and you see that R2 is equal to 400 ohms, and we already figured out that this is about 68 uh, volts across this across here on these two resistors. So now, so the total current in I2 is equal to about one or 0 0.171 amps. And let's get the current in the other branch. So the current in I3 is equal to the voltage in R3 divided by the resistance R3, which is equal to 68.57 divided by 200. So I3 is equal to 0.343 amps. And uh, we could check this out by just seeing if, if I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. So is I1 equal to I2 plus I3 and it should be otherwise we did something wrong so let's check this out if we plug in uh, 0 0.171 plus 0.343 that should equal 0.514 amps which means we got the correct answer it's the same as uh, the total current in the previous that we solved for so uh, we did it correctly so here's the here's the one before and here's the one we got down here. So it's correct. Good job. Uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like it. And uh, good luck in your classes.